at you with an interesting little topic that uh, is much more widely discussed, or been longer at least, over in the UK, but it's been kind of mulling around quite a bit in the US, particularly over the last year. And that is the topic of sodium percarbonate. And this is cleaners. We had years ago, around 2012, just huge discussions going on whether to use PBW or whether to use OxyClean. And this has been widened quite a bit recently. So I thought I would cover this topic in a little different way, maybe a little more chemically and explain a few things. I recently have bought sodium percarbonate uh, and I'm looking forward to starting to use this now that I have a greater understanding. So again, I wanna thank uh, Wally Feck for that. Uh, Brad Pico has been using this. I know some of the other guys out there have been using this, but I thought this was a worthwhile conversation and maybe to tell you a little bit about some of these things and what they're actually doing. I've been using OxyClean and more recently I've been using PBW. PBW is a product of Five Stars Homing, Home Brewing Products and uh, you'll notice you can go all around there, but you're not going to find out what the active ingredients are. There are people that have done studies on that and so I'm going to kind of cover what is understood to be the active ingredients in PBW. We know that PBW is something that does not cause problems in terms of pollution. It's a green product, which is great, just as star sand is, and uh, that's very attractive in today's society. But let's understand a little bit about more about what's going on and what's in there. The, the primary active ingredient in it, big surprise, is sodium percarbonate. We're going to talk more about sodium percarbonate in a minute, but the other ingredients that you find in there are sodium carbonate. Now, sodium carbonate is actually found in sodium percarbonate, believe it or not. The other active ingredients in there are sodium metasilicate. That's a hard one for me to say. Metasilis metasilicate. <sighs> Up on the screen. And the other one is an unknown sequestrant uh, chelatinating agent such as Versine, also known as EDTA solution. Uh, so what are these things? Sodium percarbonate, again, we're going to cover that in a little bit, a little more thoroughly. Sodium carbonate, again, found in sodium percarbonate. And sodium metasilicate, I said it, is created by fusing sodium carbonate with silica. That's right. And it's used basically to soften water, which enhances cleaning performance. Uh, finally, they have Versine, or at least an EDTA solution. They're also used to control the water hardness ions that interfere with cleaning agents. They're just going to enhance the cleaning ability to a degree. But all in all, when it comes down to it, your big active cleaner is sodium percarbonate, which is why so many people have gone to using things like OxyClean free, which means it's not free, but it's free of all those perfumes and extra stuff in there. Primary active ingredient is sodium percarbonate, followed by sodium carbonate, and they'll say hydrogen peroxide, but as you'll learn, those are all in sodium percarbonate already. All right, so Let's move on to what's the big deal, what sodium percarbonate is all about. So as we've already learned, sodium percarbonate is a key ingredient that's used in products like OxyClean, but it's also used in products like Tide. That's right, your laundry cleaners. Um, they are using basically non-chlorine bleaching agents that clean thoroughly and safely. You're not going to get white spots on your clothes, right? You're not uh, creating toxic type things. And that is basically what is found in most of the modern day laundry type cleaners. Um, so what is sodium percarbonate? Sodium percarbonate is an adjunct of sodium carbonate. Do you see these words repeating each other? <laughs> so it's an adjunct of sodium carbonate and hydrogen peroxide. There again, the other ingredient. So basically you take sodium carbonate and hydrogen peroxide and put them together create sodium percarbonate. There you go. You got it all. That's what you're hearing about OxyClean. That's also what's already in your PBW. Uh, its chemicals formulate Na2CO3 and is totally eco-friendly, which means you don't worry about it going down your sink or on your driveway. It's not going to pollute uh, everything out there. When dissolved in water, sodium percarbonate breaks down to oxygen, 
water, and sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate is also known as soda ash, which is historically was uh, extracted from the ashes of plants growing in sodium rich soils. How much more natural can you get, right? All right, there are two versions of sodium percarbonate being sold. Some of them refer to themselves as coated percarbonate and others call themselves uncoated percarbonate. What's the difference? And by the way, there is a third one you'll hear out there, which is basically kosher percarbonate. Kosher basically means uncoated. Now, coated granules are slower to react with other chemicals in blended products. This preserves the H2O2, extending the shelf life and protecting the bleaching agents. So that's a plus. Another benefit though of the coated percarbonate granules are they are spherical and pour more easily. They don't pack into clumps. And I know you've probably seen that in other products. Uncoated sodium percarbonate, also known as kosher, uh, may be initially less expensive, just a little bit, but coating uh, coated percarbonate may be more economical uh, because it'll extend the, the life of the product. You won't find the clumping and so forth. And it won't start breaking down the H2O2, which means it's going to be more effective in cleaning. Finally, the big one is price. The kicker is that sodium percarbonate has become a fad. It really has, particularly in the UK, but also here in the US. And many cases, it's being sold at a much higher price than just buying OxyClean free from Walmart locally or even online with shipping. Uh, in one case, I saw four ounces of it being sold, the sodium percarbonate, at $7.99. Four ounces, $7.99, that's ridiculous. When I could have bought 48 ounces of OxyClean for $7.56. I bought my product through Pro Supply Outlets. Uh, here in the U.S. They sell their coated sodium percarbonate um, for a good 10 pound pack is $23.50 with free shipping which is less than you'll pay for OxyClean at Walmart. And if you brew a lot like uh, Larry Lance, <laughs> you want to buy uh, maybe considerably more you might look at getting a 25 pound bag for $46.95 with free shipping and that comes out to $1.88 a pound a great savings when your OxyClean is going to cost you around the $2.80 a pound type pricing. The added agents that they put in OxyClean um, are what can create the film on containers. You're not going to have that issue with sodium percarbonate. But the other thing is that really you don't need to soak anything in any of those cleaners for more than an hour. And I also recommend that you use warm water go for about 185 degrees when cleaning. It's, it's much more uh, conducive to cleaning. And if you really want to go the extra mile, uh, go ahead, buy your PBW. I know this was a lot of information. You can sort it out if you want. You can watch it again. But here it is. I'm recommending getting sodium percarbonate and using that for your cleaning. This is Kevin Clements saying, hey, you know what? Find cheaper ways to brew, lower your cost, and have a good time. We'll catch you next time around. Cheers.